Hey beautiful people! How are you all doing today? My name is Mark and I love making things sweet and in style. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is where I do anything and everything creative. So for today, I'm going to share with you a flower that I actually planned to do a live video on my personal blog page on Facebook which you can check on the description box below. And also, for the recipe that I use for this one which is mako paste and sugar paste, I'll also put it on the description box below. So the flower that I'm going to share with you today is this very easy Ixora or Santan flower. You see that? It's very pretty. Um, you can actually use it as a filler for your floral arrangements like this one. You can actually use it as a main flower for your cakes as well. And the good thing is you don't need any cutters or veiners for this one. And it's so, so nice. Actually, I plan to do this as a live video but I kept on having some internet problems because of the bad weather. So here it is on YouTube. So what are you waiting for? Let's start! Okay, so for today I'm going to teach you this very amazing and dainty filler flower which can actually be a showstopper or a main flower on your cake. So this is a, this is an Ixora or Santan in the Philippines. So I'm gonna show you how to make the buds first. So for the buds, actually for all the flowers, you'll be needing wire number 28. You can also go with 26, okay? So for now, what we'll be using is number 28. So you need color white, okay? So you need to cut it at around 3 to 4 centimeter, okay? So these are 4 centimeter, but you can also go with 3. So first, we'll be using uh, our paste. So this is mako paste. You need very little, okay? Just like that. Just a tiny little ball. Okay, then what you need to do now... You need to insert this on your wire, okay? And then you need to twist. Continue twisting. So basically, I'm just twisting going down, okay? See that? As if you are forming a cotton ball. See that? It's very small because it has to be really, really small. These are very small flowers that are very, very fun to do. So you need to leave the end part a little bit plump okay just like that and then you will pinch it a little bit so it's a little bit pointed okay see that it won't focus but yeah and then using your scissors you need to cut but you won't cut until the end okay basically you just need to add some linings okay so it's gonna be like so okay and you need to make at least 10 to 15 pieces of this one. So what I'm using here is a sponge. So this is the ordinary sponge that you use for washing your dishes or your other baking, um, let's say your baking tools. So I find it easier to actually stick on this one, especially for small flowers. So you have to make um, 10 to 15 pieces of the small flowers. But if you want to make it fuller, you can actually go more, okay? Okay, so right now I'll be sharing with you how to make the flowers itself. So basically you need the same wire but the difference is we'll be using our gelatin pollen. So how do you make the gelatin pollen? Basically this is ordinary gelatin powder and then I mixed in my petal dust. So the brand that I'm using is Rainbow Dust Golden Yellow. So you can also use any other brands like Sugar Flare or Crystal Colors or Magic Colors. What I'm using is... Um, rainbow dust okay so just add a little bit and then close it and then shake it and then what you'll have is this very gorgeous um, lifelike pollens okay so what you need to do first you can also use edible glue but I prefer using water for this one so here I have ordinary distilled drinking water so I'll, I'll just dip the end okay just the end and then dip it on my gelatin mix so what I'll have is something like so you see that it's very small so that's gonna be the center of our small flowers okay so after that you need to create around 20 to 25 pieces of this one and then what you need to do so you need to get the same color of the paste so for this one we're using white you can also use any color that you prefer okay so again just the same size very small Okay. 
What we're using is mackerel paste, but you can also use gum paste or other kind of paste that is available in your area. You can also use uh, clay for this one. So as you see here, I just elongated one part a little bit. Okay, and then using my bamboo skewers or if you have a tool like this that's normally used for figures, you can also use this one. But this is more widely available, so I'll be using this one. So dab it in cornstarch, okay? And then you need to pinch this one. So you'll have a hole, okay? See that? Won't focus. Okay, so there is a hole. So what you need to do now, you need to cut four petals. Okay, so once you have four petals, you can actually open it a little bit. Okay? And then what you need to do, just press. Okay, you need to make the petals look a little bit pointed. Okay, just like so. And then just press it with your thumb and your finger. Your thumb and your pointing finger. And what you'll have is something like so. Actually, this is really, really small. This is only around one centimeter. And then after that, insert on the center. Okay. And then push. Just right so. The yellow part should actually be showing. Because that's how the real flowers look like. Okay. And then there you have it. You already have your one. Okay. Okay, that's better. You already have your one flower. Okay. So I need to make around 20 pieces of this one. If you want to go more, again, you could go more. So after that, I'll show you how to make the base. Okay, so while our flowers are actually drying, so for now, we'll be making the base where we will be sticking all the flowers and the buds later on. So what I have here is ordinary paste. I colored with green. And then, um, this is Mako Paste. The recipe is actually on the description box below. So what you need to do first, um, this is actually wire number 22. Four pieces I combined together. You can use this one. If you don't have, you can also use a barbecue stick, okay? So for now, um, we'll be using barbecue stick because for me, this is safer to use on your cakes. So basically, I'll cut it very small. Okay, so that's, it's easier to insert on your cakes. And then after that, you just need to insert, okay, and then lock. Okay, so sometimes if it's sticking on your fingers, you can actually get a little bit of cornstarch, not too much, okay? Just keep on pressing until you feel that it's secure, okay? So it's like a lollipop, I know. So you just need to press it down a little bit. So it's a little bit flat, okay? Just like that. It's like a mushroom head. But trust me, it's going to look fine, okay? After that, using your scissors, you just need to cut randomly, okay? Just randomly so that there's a lot of like spikes, okay? That will show as if this is where the growth comes from, okay? So it should be like that. Okay, so once you have something that looks like so, you're already done, okay? So you need to let this dry a little bit, but not too much, okay? It should be a little bit firm, but when you pinch it, you can actually insert something on. Normally, it takes around 5 to 10 minutes for it to dry like that. Okay, so we'll leave it aside, and then I'll show you how to insert the buds and the flowers. Okay, so we are actually done drying it for about 5 to 10 minutes. And as you can see, this is actually a little bit firm, okay, but it's still soft. So what you need to do now, you need to get your, your buds, okay? So we'll start first with the bud. So just insert. If it's a little bit too long, you can actually cut your wires. So I'll be, I'll be cutting this a little bit. Okay, and then I insert. You can also use edible glue for this one, but I prefer to stick it right in because when the paste dries, it's going to hold your bud already. 
And then again, you just cut this because this is too long. Okay, and then just insert. So basically, you just keep on inserting your buds. Okay? Until you form something that looks like so. See that? And then after that, once your buds are already clustered, you start inserting your small flowers. Okay? Until you have your desired look. Okay? Just like that. So you keep on adding and adding. And of course, it's a little bit upper on the first part and then it goes wider and wider and wider. And then after that, what you'll have is something like this. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. So once you have something like so, you'll see that there's a lot of like uh, floral tape that actually moved a little bit. So for you to actually cover that, you need dust. Okay. So this is where we do dusting. Okay. So remember that when you are dusting your flowers, or leaves should be fully dry, okay? So that you won't have any problems at all. So what I'm using is, again, this is rainbow dust, cherry red. You can also use poppy red. Okay. So just a little. And then what you need to do now, because this is green, so you need to add a little bit of reds underneath. Okay, just like so, so that it's going to be a little bit darker, but not too dark. Okay, it should be as if you can still see a little bit of green, but what's coming to your optical illusion is actually a little bit of reddish, brownish green. Okay, you see that? That's how it should look like. So what it does, it actually hides those small uh, movements from the floral tape. Okay. And then once you're satisfied with the look, this is how it should look like. You see that? It's okay. Out of focus. Okay, that's better. See that? It's very pretty. So this time, you can actually move around some of the buds depending on the location where you wanted it to be. Even the flowers. Okay. So if you want to make this fuller, you can add more. But for me, this is already good. So you see that? So I have another one here. You see that? It's very pretty. Again, this is Santan or Exora. It's a perfect filler for your flowers. Let's say, for example, okay, we'll zoom out a little bit. Let's say, for example, I have here my English rose. So you can have it as a filler. You see that? It's very, very pretty. Okay, so I hope you learned a lot. If you find this video useful or helpful, please do give it a like share and please don't forget to subscribe okay thank you bye